In today's episode, we're reviewing a mini PA system from the company WinBridge. This is actually the Moto S209. It's a 16 watt PA system. It has a 2,500 milliamp uh, battery capacity that you can actually use with this PA system. And you can also record off this PA system and play music off of it and then also talk with it. So there's a lot of different like possibilities like I just mentioned with this PA system. But before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit the and then also, if you guys actually want to check out this product or get more details and specifications about this PA system, that kind of stuff will be down below in the description for those who are interested, alongside with the link to make a purchase if you're interested in buying this portable PA system. But right now, what we're going to do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. So on the front of the box, you know, you guys can see there's a lot of useful information and details about the PA system. And as I flip it onto the back side, there's a few more specifications and details about it, which we are going to take a closer look at with a secondary camera angle. So you guys can see it just says Windbridge on the top right here. This is the original S209 voice amplifier, digital player, and we have a visual representation of the PA system itself. As I flip it onto the back side, you guys can see we have a list of some specifications and details. If you guys need that kind of info, you guys can definitely um, take a pause and look at that kind of stuff. And that's basically it for the um, outside of the box. There's not really a whole lot to the outside except for those two main uh, sides that I just showed you. So what I'm going to do now is actually proceed to unbox this PA system. So we instantly get greeted with our user manual and this user manual is vast. Let's take a look at some of these different accessories. So we actually inside this plastic bag, we have our USB power supply. We also get included with an auxiliary cable. So this is a uh, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter audio jack. We also got included with a USB to USB type C cable. We also have a nice little carrying strap that we can utilize for this PA system. And this strap would be really beneficial if you want to carry this PA system on your side of your body, or if you kind of want to hang it against like your shoulder and stuff. It was nice to see that they actually included the strap so we can actually effectively carry around this PA system. Then it looks like the last remaining thing inside the box is actually our headset for this PA system. So this is how our headset looks like. And you guys can see we have our lav headset or our lav microphone on this side. And then on the other side, we actually have our USB 3.5 mill millimeter audio jack that we need to use to actually plug into this PA system so that when we talk over on this PA system, it's gonna be able to capture our audio directly. But now, let's take a look at the main highlight of this video, which is the PA system. So I'm gonna actually take it out of this plastic bag, and you guys can see, this is how the PA system looks like. So right here in the middle, that is our 16 watt portable speaker that's actually embedded inside this PA system. It has Windbridge, which is the company's name on this side. And this right here is actually our digital screen. And they did put some plastic foil or that all you need to do is actually just remove just like that. And now you guys can see it's a very glossy kind of screen, which looks really nice and presentable. But let's take a look at the top right now. So we got our different modes button right here. We have our previous track button, play and pause and also mute button, our next track button. And I'm guessing that is our record button on the side right here. Then on this side, this is our volume control and our on and off switch. We have our mic port and our auxiliary port as well. On the bottom, we just have some nice little anti-slip grips. And then we also have our DC 5 volt USB-C port right here. And then our USB playback port, so we can plug like a USB flash drive into this um, portable sound system to play music off of it as well. And I'm pretty sure that's also how you need to actually record off of this PA system. But yeah, really nice. And then on the back side, we actually have a nice little belt um, clip or you know something that you can kind of just clip onto your pocket and stuff so it's nice to see that they included that so if I wanted to I can actually just clip this onto my pocket and not have to use this strap if I want to go through that method as well so that's basically it for the unboxing and what we're gonna do right now is actually move over to the testing and demonstration portion of this video What I'm going to do is actually power this on. And like I showed you guys with the unboxing, the volume and the on and off button is actually the same switch. So let's turn this on. You guys can see it says hi. Why don't we actually take a look with the headset, plug the headset in just to see how the sound quality is at both. And then you could just kind of do all your minor adjustments afterwards. 
because it's like a gooseneck kind of uh, material that they used for this PA system microphone. And now we should be good to go. And you guys can see it looks really nice and presentable. And now I'm gonna plug this in and hopefully it's not gonna just start, you know, getting my voice, but we'll guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna plug this into the mic port right here. It's pretty loud and you guys can see it does definitely amplify my voice um, substantially from where it was if I didn't use this PA system. Um, but, you know, it looks like I'm kind of blowing into the microphone a little bit too much. So do keep that in mind if you are going to use this PA system. Um, but um, overall, it's not too bad. The quality is pretty good. And you can also increase and decrease the volume. So right now, this is actually at max volume. And we can actually decrease the volume all the way down. And you guys can see now the voice amplifier is practically off. It's at 0% volume right now. And I can go back and increase it back up. But overall, the sound quality is pretty decent with this PA system. So what we're going to do right now is actually go over to my phone. I'm going to connect to the Bluetooth of this PA system just so we can kind of give a sound sample with this PA system with music in the background. Okay, so what we need to do is actually click on this M button, which is our different mode button. And let's see what happens. And it says Bluetooth. I don't know if you guys can see it says blue. So that means it's in Bluetooth mode. And what I'm gonna do is actually go over to my phone and find this device, and then we're gonna connect it via Bluetooth. So let's see if it shows up here. It looks like it shows up with the name of S209, or S209, I should say. And it should pair up here. Click on pair, there we go. And what I'm gonna do now is actually go over to my music platform. And you guys can hear it kind of did that nice little beep. I'm gonna go over to my music platform so we can actually test this out with some music. Okay, so I have a song pulled up. I'm gonna click on the play button now. And I'm gonna gradually increase my phone's audio. So this is the audio coming from my phone, Bluetooth right now. is actually pretty loud and what I like about it is even though I have music playing you guys can see it kind of gives like a mic um, what is it called um, it kind of decreases the volume of the music so that I can actually talk so that's kind of cool it's like a talk over feature which is kind of cool the audio sounds pretty clean and do keep in mind, don't get this too close or else it's going to cause interference with the microphone. Um, let's see if we can skip to another song here. It looks like it's just playing the same song. So this is a different song. So I can, you know, use the buttons or the media control buttons to manipulate whatever music I'm actually playing via um, my Bluetooth connection. So that's kind of cool. Um, but let me actually pause the music. So what we're going to do now is actually plug in a USB stick. And this actually has some audio files. And what it should do is actually automatically start playing, but I may have to skip uh, forward a few songs because I have some random stuff on this USB. And it looks like I do not. So you guys can see that it's now playing music via this USB flash drive. The audio is actually pretty good. I'm, I gotta say, it's not too bad, it's pretty loud. This is a little bit of bass, but it's not strong, obviously. And then, like I showed you guys with the Bluetooth, I can use these media controls and skip to all these different songs. So it's going to play a different song now. And it's playing a different song. So you can use this to kind of, you know, enhance your talking abilities. You can have music playing in the background as you're using this microphone to amplify your voice. So it's kind of cool that they implemented the music um, playing capabilities with the microphone. Really cool. But yeah, that's basically all that I can really show you guys before we go outside. We also do got that R button and that is our record functionality button. So if you wanted to, you can actually record whatever the microphone's capturing directly to your USB flash drive. So you can use this to kind of like, you know, get people's attention. 
Very nice though. I really like it. And then you can easily clip this onto your body. So if I wanted to, I can clip it right here. Clip it onto my pot's pocket. Um, but yeah, really cool. The music's just very groovy. <laughs> I'm grooving to the music right now. I think we kind of got enough of the music, but what we're gonna do right now is actually proceed with our demo outside where we just do a quick little range test just to see how good and loud the sound quality is. We're currently outside right now and we're gonna be doing a quick demonstration of this Windbridge S209 portable PA system. So you guys can see I actually put the strap onto it right now. So if I wanted to, I can actually, you know, strap it like this and have it hanging, you know, if, if that's the setup that you wanna go for. But you also have, like I was mentioning in the video, this little clip on the back side. So if I wanted to, I can easily just clip it like that. And now it's, you know, I can still move my hands and do all my gestures and stuff. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of like, you know, keep this away from, you know, being in your way. So what we're going to do right now, though, is I'm going to power this on. And I'm going to show you guys a quick demonstration of how it sounds like outside. So you guys can see it's really, you know, professional. It's also very loud and direct. So if, let's say I was outside doing something or demonstrating something outside right now. A lot of people are going to be able to hear me, you know. And the good thing about it is if I, you know, were to talk very loud, my voice will get a lot more loud. And I don't have to scream to people when I'm trying to show them, you know, how to do something with my voice. So with this PA system, it's just a lot more easier to you know get your voice projected out loudly so that many people can hear you at the same time so what i'm going to do right now is we're just going to kind of walk and what i'm going to do is actually you know strap this onto my uh shorts pocket adjust the microphone a little bit so this is how it probably sound like in my situation if i want to use this because i'm not going to have this in my hand you know i want to keep my hands free so that i can still talk to people but overall, it doesn't sound bad. As you guys can see, it is a little bit windy right now. So hopefully the microphone's not really picking up on the wind too much right now. But, you know, still doing a fantastic job. And if I turn around and start walking away, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would still be able to hear me. So overall, not too bad. Does a fantastic job. And right now, what we're going to do is actually move over to the final opinions and remarks and end off this video. So, one of my final opinions and remarks about this voice amplifier from the company WinBridge. Well, it's a fantastic voice amplifier. There's a lot of practical uses you can do with this USB uh, or portable mini PA system. You know, it has Bluetooth, it has USB playback, and you can also use a microphone and even attach another auxiliary um, you know, device onto this PA system. So that could be an additional microphone or that could even be another speaker to really amplify your voice if you really wanted to. So there's just a lot of good uses for this PA system that I feel like a lot of you guys can make a lot of use of.